when God saw what he created, there was an adjective to qualify you. He said the thing was very good. Now follow me carefully. Then after then the morning and the evening and all that came on the sixth day. Very quickly, in the next 20 minutes, I will give you like four or five points. Listen to me. I'm teaching on what I try to the original intent of God for man. Write it down. That's the topic of my teaching tonight. God's original intent or purpose for creation of man. Hmm. Hmm. God's original intent or purpose for the creation of man. Friends, you are about to discover something that will make you very uncomfortable. You know why? Because if you are not very good, then you are underliving your creation. You are living below divine expectations. You are living below heaven's expectations for you. Because from the scriptures we read in that order, the Bible say in the beginning, the Lord created. He created the heavens and the earth. And then he continued the creation until we got to verse 26. He said, let us make man. I don't want to go there. Because before the creation of man, God had to bring Jesus. God had to bring the Holy Ghost. The Trinity sat down and calculated how do we make man. Let's not make them like a lion. Let's not make them like an elephant Let's not make them like a cat Let's make a man exactly the way we are You know the way we are in heaven That is how men they are going to be here on the earth So let us make man In our image And in our likeness Let them not be different from us Let them look exactly like heaven on the earth That is what verse 6 said That was why God took time to create man he created man the last thing. Only God sat down. He spoke lion. He spoke elephant. He spoke rat. He spoke every other animal you saw. He spoke everything into being. But when he came to the creation of man, he said, let us make man. I don't want to make mistake concerning man. I want to make man exactly the way we are. So you bring your own idea. You bring your own idea. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They sat down and formed you. They made you in the order of heaven here on the earth. Friends, hear this. Whatever heaven is enjoying, that is what men are made to enjoy here on the earth. So we are underliving heaven's expectations. I'm here to carry you to your original realm. I say I'm here by grace of God to put you in your original state. Amen. There are people whose destiny the devil began to fight you from the inside. If you hear anybody say, ah, now so them bomb me, it means before you were born, there was a contest. Before you were born, something was fighting your existence. And that thing was able to overtake and change your way of life. The Bible said the man was born blind. And because of blindness, he was impeded. He was kept in the spot. He became a mocker. Everybody were mocking him. Until one day came, he encountered the man called Jesus who healed him. And the Bible said they began to wonder. They say, what kind of man is this? They say, are you sure you are the one that was seated at the gate? He said, there is no need to ask long question. I am he. I am. From this service tonight, God is giving you an I am he testimony. They began to ask, is this not the one who sat to beg? We say, is this not the one? He looks like him. He said, no, no, don't waste your time. I am the one that has sat down there. I've been begging. I'm the one. I am he. But now I am already healed. I'm no longer a beggar. Let me, let me prophesy. I don't know what the devil did to your destiny. Even before you were born. I don't know the contest that the devil came to fight with you. Even before you were born. But let me announce to you. Every powers that are fit to fought your existence. Every power that are fit to fought you from fulfilling destiny. Today those powers are arrested in the name of Jesus. 
I came tonight to challenge the powers that challenged you from the beginning. Yes. Amen. That was why Jesus said very clearly in Matthew 19 8. Say, I'm from the beginning. It was not so. From the beginning, it was because God had an intention. He has an intention. Jesus said, from the beginning, it was not so. Friends, hear this and hear me well. Whatever is not so from the beginning, that is buying and selling around your life and destiny, tonight by the supernatural power of the Almighty God, I command them expired in the name of Jesus. It was not so. Because from the beginning, what he created was very good. Looking very radiated. The thing was so inviting. There was no one born that was disfigured. There was no one born that was relegated to the background. There was no one born that was born a beggar. There was no one born that is born as a pauper. There is no one born that is born poor. There is no one born that is born sick. If that thing didn't come from the the beginning. Where are all these things coming from now? An enemy have done it. Why men slept? An enemy came and he saw tears. But I have come by the spirit of the living God to approve those enemies tonight. Why every enemy that is fighting your life, that is fighting your destiny. Yes. Tonight I command them approve them. Friends, God has an intention. Before you were formed. And we'll soon be looking at just few of them. I will show you few. Just very few. You know why? So that you can align yourself. Huh? You know Apostle Paul said in Ephesians 1, 17 and 18. He said that your eyes of understanding might be enlightened. That he may know the glory of his calling. If you don't know, you can be coming. Many people have accepted mediocrity. As a will from God. If you see any family who they are yet to have children and they say, well, because we can't have our own now, let's adopt. They have accepted mediocrity. They are falling short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. Because none was born barren. None. The only barren person was cursed by God and her name is called Micah when she mocked the man of God. Her name is called Micah. The only woman that was permitted to die barren was Micah. Why? Because she mocked a man of God. She mocked David when David danced. She mocked David. Every other woman here on the earth or family, you are born to have your own children. Check your Bible very carefully. As old as Zachariah, the Baptist came. As old as Abraham, Sarai, as old as they were, their own Isaac came. As old as Isaac and Rebekah, their own Esau and Jacob came as old as Rachel Joseph and Benjamin came you need to be in the spirit don't accept mediocrity for the will of God no sir friends hear me until the world understand that God created you to be blessed you can't become blessed you can't become blessed now let's look at the original intention of God for man before we are born number one Number one, it's in verse 27. Genesis 127, very quickly. Genesis 127. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. The first intention of God for man was for every man to be married and every woman to be married. Follow me. Let me preach. You will like what I'm about to say. (laughs) From the beginning, he created them male and what? Please answer me. He created them male and female. Why didn't he create that male alone and stop? Genesis 2.18 It is not good 
for a man to be alone. It is not good for a woman to be alone. He created them, male and female. Mark chapter 10 verse 6. Jesus said, he created them, male and female. He created them, male and female. In Matthew chapter 19 verse 4. The Bible says he created them Male and female In Genesis chapter 5 and verse 2 The Bible says he created them Male and female In Isaiah chapter 34 Verse 16 Isaiah 34 from verse 16 He said Seek ye out of the book of the law and read For none of it shall fail For none Shall want her mate None out of it, none shall fail. None shall want her mate. None, 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 none. None shall want her mate. You see, the Bible says it is a taboo for a man or a woman to say, I don't know who to marry. It is wrong for a man or a woman to say, I don't know who to marry. He created them, male and female. The first thing God created man to do is not for a woman to be looking for husband. It's not for a man to be looking for wife. Your wife is already there. A time will come, your paths will cross and it won't take time. God will want you to grow gray hair before you meet your wife. He created them, male and female. Men and female created he them. Alakam bashon to palakatosiaba. Radia brakatene le kuka pratiata. He created them, male and female. Church, hear me. Hear me. Hear very carefully. I want to speak to men. You that you meet anyone, you say now this one not be this one, now this one not be this one. It's because you are not right. You have a cockroach in your cupboard. You are an immoral person. If you have morality, you will know when your wife comes. See, I'm here. Ah, now you. The Bible says, where Adam was in the bush, Adam didn't go to look for any woman. In fact, that was not the prayer point of Adam. Adam was at ease. The Bible said Adam was asleep. While Adam was asleep, the Lord brought the woman. He brought the woman unto Abraham. He brought the woman. Can I prophesy to somebody? After this service tonight, your wife is coming. Amen. An immoral man that have more than 24 girlfriends is choosing wife. Because there is a sin on the inside. He created them male and what? Apostle Paul was canceling the Corinthian church. He said, well, this what I'm saying, I'm not saying as a preacher, I'm saying as a human being, if you can stay the way I stay, then continue. But if you cannot, marry. Carry your own wife. Carry your own, your own, your own. Hear me and hear me well. The scripture we are standing on and preaching is he that findeth a wife. Am I correct? That's in Proverbs 22 also. Say he that findeth a wife. Which means a man will find. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Am I correct? Yes. Sir. Somebody will say, Pastor, you didn't understand. It was the servant that Abraham sent. No, be Isaac, go find Rebecca. The Bible says when it was evening time, before the girl went out, Isaac went out searching. Isaac went out searching. And then he saw the woman, and the woman quickly asked, Okana, who be that? Say, that's my master's son. The woman came down and bowed down. It is wrong for a woman to look at the man we never marry him face to face. No education should make you have that temerity. Bible says, and Rebecca bowed down. Isaac removed the veil. Today, before you tell any woman, Alpha, she removed the veil herself. See me here, see me here. Because of not, 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 not. You see, you see, the easiest way to sp- <laughs> Hallelujah. You should leave me alone tonight. <laughs> Don't allow me to preach. Oh. 
Don't allow me to preach. Oh. Hey, can I preach? Preach, sir. It is wrong for a girl to walk up to a man and say, I saw revelation. Hallelujah. Every revelation that carries you to a man is prostitution. Hey. Write it down, write it down. <laughs> Every revelation that carries you to a man. Oh God, I see you in my dream. You dewet me. It is called prostitution. Hey, men, any girl that come to you and see revelation for you, that is Delilah wrong. Hallelujah. That is Delilah. Hey, yeah, 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 Hallelujah. For he that find it, everyone that calls me daddy, every young girl that is due to be married, that calls me daddy, I decree wherever your male is, he is coming to you from today. Amen. Let me cancel young girls. I, I, I'm closing now. We'll continue next time. On, on Sunday we'll continue. <laughs> the Bible says shall come to pass that in the last day seven women will hold one man. It's not for you. No, for, look, as you are like this, your bright price is 10 billion. Hey! And your husbands will pay them. The Bible says, Who can find a virtuous woman? Say, Our price is far more than rubies. Yes, sir. The price of a virtuous woman is more than money. Yes, sir. Uh, let me just come and live in your house. Anytime you have money, you go and pay. Who said that? Who said that? And demons call men. We say, let me test whether the woman go born when we marry. Who said that? If you eat the forbidden food, thou shalt surely... Hey! George, stand up. Let me, let me pray. Lift up your hands to God and give him praise.